What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Downton Abbey, a film based on a series of the same name, is getting a sequel, called Downton Abbey A New Era. The sequel will be released in March 2022, and we believe now is the perfect time to go through some facts you didn't know about the most famous period drama ever. Julian Fellows Did you guys know that the creator of the show, Julian Fellows, is actually a baron and a member of the House of Lords? Talented cast members Casting director Jill Trevelick explained in an interview with Backstage that Maggie Smith, Hugh Bonville, Michelle Dockery, and Dan Stevens were all first choices for their respective characters. Downton Bad? When asked to describe the series ahead of its third season, star Hugh Bonville Robert Crawley said the show is like Breaking Bad with tea instead of meth. Inspiration I was constantly thinking in terms of those American structures. I liked ER. There was something called Chicago Hope that I liked very much, and 30-something with all those stories going on at once. Series creator Julian Fellows stated, The most difficult role to cast. Are you surprised that valet John Bates was the most difficult character to cast? Thankfully, Brendan Coyle got the job after over 60 actors auditioned. Big Departure When Matthew Crawley's departure happened at the end of Season 3, there were a lot of very upset people demanding apologies, according to actor Stevens. Reason So why did the actor leave the show? His reasons back then were simple. He tried to keep himself challenged and entertained with new, different opportunities. New Achievements after Matthew's departure, the season 4 premiere broke records, drawing in more than 10 million viewers, and ever since that moment, Downton Abbey holds the title for the highest-rated drama premiere in PBS history. A Married Couple Did you guys know that Elizabeth McGovern and Hugh Bonville were married before? The actors played husband and wife on the 2008 BBC series Freezing, a different storyline. According to Fellows, if Stevens had informed him sooner of his choice to leave the series, Lady Sybil wouldn't have died in the previous episodes. High Clare Castle High Clare Castle is an estate in Hampshire, England that is home to the Earl and Countess of Carnarvon. The extravagant estate is open to the public and you can actually rent it for your wedding. A different place. The niece of the show's creator, Jessica Fellows, said that the servants' quarters are actually in London. In her words, Thomas might be filmed leaving the kitchen with a plate of food for upstairs and would then appear two weeks later in the dining room. An expensive show. Now prepare for this one. Each episode costs an average of $1 million to produce. The same room. Cora's, Mary's, and Edith's bedrooms are all the same, meaning that the creators redecorated every day. A different actress. Gillian Anderson was initially considered to play the role of Lady Grantham, which eventually went to Elizabeth McGovern. Beautiful costumes. Every one of us loves the costumes from Downton, but did you guys know that most of them are actual clothing from the period? And quite smelly ones. Because the costumes are ought to keep their authenticity, they have never been washed, meaning that they smell, well, awful. The Turkish Diplomat. No one can forget the event in which the Turkish diplomat, Mr. Pamuk, lost his life in the bed of Lady Mary. Well, you'll be surprised to know that the Turkish diplomat storyline was based on real events. The Biggest Fan Downton Abbey is such a good show that even Queen Elizabeth II is a fan and has also pointed out mistakes in some episodes. Best Character Well, at least for us, Dame Maggie Smith plays the best character in the show. However, according to Maggie, she hasn't watched a single episode from Downton Abbey. A Music Career Elizabeth McGovern, a.k.a. Cora, is also involved in a music career as she is the lead singer of a band called Sadie and the Hotheads. Awards In 2012, Downton Abbey became the most Emmy-nominated British series in history. We don't believe this surprised you, to be honest. Clothing the male actors Apparently, dressing the male actors in Downton was a nightmare. Why? Well, finding the right size for them was pretty difficult. The food The meals in Downton look pretty delicious, right? Well, it turns out the food was served on plates was real but not fresh, meaning that they used one dish over and over again. Corsets equal nightmare. All of the female characters in Downton except Dame Maggie Smith had to wear corsets to help maintain their shape and posture. But the corsets proved to be a nightmare for them as expected. Previous roles. Rob James Collier and Joanne Froggett, who played Thomas and Anna, both played in the British Coronation Street before playing in Downton. 14 Years the entire story of Downton Abbey takes place over nearly 14 years, from April 15, 1912 to January 1, 1926. A real-life couple Did you guys know that Laura Carmichael, who played the second Crawley sister, Edith, met the love of her life in Downton Abbey? Carmichael started dating co-star Michael Fox, who joined the show as the footman Andy in season 5. The actors are still together. A professional ballet dancer Jessica Brown Finley, who played Sybil, was a professional ballet dancer with the National Ballet as a teenager. She, however, quit dancing because of an injury. A real-life tragedy Michelle Dockery, who played Mary, lost her husband in Downton Abbey. Unfortunately, she also lost her fiancé in real life. Dockery was dating John Deneen. Deneen was then diagnosed with cancer and passed away after the two got engaged. 
offering help. Downton Abbey served as a healing home for troops in the second season. But did you guys know that the real Highclere Castle was also turned into a hospital during World War I? A different Lady Edith, almost. Laura Carmichael almost turned down the role of Lady Edith because she was offered the role of Viola in a touring production of Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. She thankfully made the right choice. A secretary. Laura stated in an interview that she was working as a secretary in a doctor's office when she landed the role. She was offered the part while at work. Alan Leach's Big Promotion Alan Leach plays the character of Tom Branson, and he had quite an important role in the show, but you'll be surprised to know that he was initially intended to appear for just three episodes. Kate Winslet and Alan Rickman Both of these stars were asked to appear in the series as a married couple, but Winslet was unable to film back then because she was pregnant. A long, long way. Apparently, the driveway to Highclere Castle is a mile long. A lot of visitors. A lot of people have visited Highclere Castle, including Omar Sheriff, film director Stanley Kubrick, and a lot of members of England's royal family. Real staff members. Since the family lives in Downton, there's a real staff of 70 members. Meet Colin Edwards, the castle's present butler. Quite old. Highclere Castle is 175 years old. Authentic items. Almost everything you see in the castle is the castle's own. In it, there is also a table once owned by Napoleon. Dame Maggie Smith's success. Dame Maggie Smith, the actress who plays the Dowager Countess of Grantham, has three honorary doctorates, two Academy Awards, three Emmys, three Golden Globes, four Screen Actors Guild Awards, and one Tony. Guinness World Record In 2011, Downton Abbey got its way into the Guinness World Record for highest critical review ratings for a TV show. A Magician Jim Carter, or as you know him, Mr. Carson, is an inexperienced magician who often did magic tricks on set. An expensive wedding. We previously mentioned that you can freely rent Highclere Castle for your wedding. Well, Katie Pierce and Peter Andre had their wedding at Highclere Castle. The castle was rented for them for £23,000. Pharaoh and Isis the Earl of Grantham's dogs, Pharaoh and Isis, are named as a tribute to Highclere Castle's connection to Egyptian history. A need for butlers. Downton Abbey was the reason there was a huge demand for butlers worldwide. Between 2010 and 2012, the need for professionally trained butlers doubled, especially in China, Russia, and the Middle East. Fashionable clothes. Also, it was because of Downton that people again started wearing starched collars, midi skirts, beaded gowns, and hunting plaids. An editor. Dan Stevens is an editor for a magazine. He works for the junket. Brendan Coyle or David Coyle? The actor was born David Coyle, but has changed his name. Would you ever consider changing your name? Prince William is also a fan of the show. Oh, my darling. I'm sure I need your forgiveness quite as much as you need mine. Which of these facts is your favorite? Let us know. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.